Hey, what's up everybody? This is All Out with Mumble Wiz Tech and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Tranya B530 True Wireless Earbuds and I'll also be doing a comparison with the Tozo T10. Which one should you buy? I'll let you know my thoughts right after this. Now before I get started, I do want to give a big thanks to the Tryon Company for sponsoring this video. Also, if you're new to my channel and you want to see more content like this, or if you're not even new to my channel and you have been here before and been watching my videos, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe and the notification bell button. That way you will know whenever I post new content on my channel. So let's take a look at the information that's on the packaging. Again, these are the Tryon B530 True Wireless Earbuds, and you get a 12 month warranty with these. Here is some of the information regarding some of the features these wireless earbuds have here. And as you can see here, these are the items that come in the packaging. Let's take a look at the back. There's some information there. I won't spend a lot of time there for the time sink of the video, but as you can see there, all right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open up this package. All right, so let's go ahead and slide this off. And of course you have your information regarding the manual and your warranty. You even get 15 months. So that's pretty good there. I like that. And of course here are the earbuds. And then you have your charge cable and I'm sure your extra ear tips as well. So here is your manual, like I mentioned earlier, some stickers and then how you registered to get an extra three months. So in total 15 months for your warranty. All right, put that aside, put it over here and I'm sure we're going to be visiting this manual, but I'll put that down as well for now. Here is your micro USB to type A charge cable. Your extra ear tips. Okay, put that aside. Let's take a look at these earbuds again. So as you can see, they're in uh, ready to pair mode once you take them out the case. And I believe these go in magnetically as well. Let's find out. Yes, they do. And then here is your charge case and your earbuds. So let's pull this off. All right, sticky stuff here. All right, come on. Let's slide off. There we go. And here is your case. Nice size there. So this does not shut magnetically. Well, actually it does shut magnetically. You see it snaps right here. You'll see in just a moment. So it's no clicking or clamping together. It just snaps shut. So that's cool. It looks like uh, this. Yeah, that's the magnet right there. So I do like that. Of course, this is plastic, so you would know. And here are the earbuds themselves. All right, so let's take those out. And have a look. So these are touch sensitive, as you saw in the packaging. They're not clicking buttons. They're labeled, as you see there, right and left. Let's have a quick look at the manual. So as you can see here, once you remove them out of the case, they are powered on. Or you can manually turn them on by tapping each earbud for up to three seconds. And then as far as pairing, pretty straightforward. Once you remove them out of the case, they will sync to each other and then they're ready to pair. You will hear a ding and then a voice prompt when it's ready to pair. And then you will just pair it up to your device like you would any of your mobile devices. Now, as far as powering it off, once you place them back in the case, 
they will automatically power off or you could tap on either one for up to five seconds to power it off. Okay. Now, as far as the controls go, if you tap on either one, you can play and pause. And as far as the, going to the next track on the right one, if you tap it and hold for up to two seconds, it will go to the next track. And then on the left one, if you hold for two seconds, it will go to the previous track. Now, as far as increasing the volume, you double tap the right earbud to increase the volume and then you double tap the left earbud to reduce the volume. To answer a call, simply just tap on either one and then to reject the call, you will press and hold for two seconds on either earbud to reject the call. And let's look at this real quick. Now, if you triple tap either earbud, you will activate your voice assistant. So um, you will activate Siri or Google Assistant. All right, and let's see about the charging real quick. Is there any information here? So fully charged, steady red is for charging and then the light is off when it's fully charged. Okay, so now with these earbuds and the case, you can get up to 64 hours of playtime. So that's pretty cool. And I believe each charge, you get about eight hours of playtime with the earbuds themselves. So that's pretty cool all together. So what I want to do right now is go ahead and get these paired up give it a quick test i'm going to do a phone call listen to a few tracks and then stream a couple videos and then do some quick mobile gaming and i'll let you know my thoughts and then after that i'll let you know my thoughts regarding which one you should get between the two now i have done my listening test with the trinya b530 these sound fantastic I mean, absolutely fantastic. These are very, 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 very well built. Very comfortable to wear, very light. I mean, the way they sit flesh inside of your ear, I, I can't explain how comfortable these are. And again, back to the sound, it's such a complete sound. The bass is there, the mids are there, the vocals are there, well balanced, but you are immersed in the sound. And I am not exaggerating. These sound really, really nice. I streamed a couple videos. There were no lagging whatsoever. These have Bluetooth 5.0, by the way, as well. I forgot to mention that earlier. But there was no lagging. I did some mobile gaming, no lagging at all. And then I also made a couple phone calls. They heard me very clearly. And I heard them very clearly as well. These sound really, really well. I mean, I don't know how else to even explain it. And again, they're very comfortable. So some earbuds you put in your ear and it feels like something is piercing inside your ear. Low, I mean, inside your ear hole. But these sit right in there flush, very comfortable. And it does a great job of blocking external noise as well. So you have the external noise reduction done very well with these as well. So I'm happy with them. Very happy. These are rated IPX5, so sweat proof. So you can wear these at the gym, no problem. You can see both of the microphones right there. I didn't point that out earlier too. There is not a slave or a master with these, so you can use either one. I do like that as well. And while saying that, now I'm gonna go ahead and speak of my comparison between the Tozo T10 and the Tranya b530 i'm only going to do a highlight comparison if you want to see my full review of the tozo t10 go ahead and tap on that card there or click on that card there to watch my full review of the tozo t10 again i'm only going to do a highlight so where to start from let's look at the case so the trinya and I'm, instead of me saying the name of the company i'm just going to name the model so the b 530 and the T10. All right, so the B530 case, as you can see, is a bit wider and the T10 is a bit slimmer. And let's look at the thickness. As you can see, the B530 is 
not as thick as the T10. All right, now weight wise, the T10 is heavier than the B530. Okay, and now, oh, actually on this case, you could put like a string in here if you want to like tie it to your belt loop or keychain or what have you. In this case, it does not have that. And since I just saw the micro USB, you can see this has micro USB. That's the only way you can charge this case. Now this case also has, which is the T10 also has a micro USB charge port and you can also charge this wirelessly. So the T10 can be charged wirelessly. The B530 cannot be charged wirelessly, only via micro USB. All right, so now let's talk about the sound. The sound on the B530 compared to the T10 is pretty close, but if it had to be my pick, I would say the B530. It has more of a complete sound. The bass is heavier, the vocals are clearer, and the mids are sharper. I'm not an audiophile, so I may not have said the terminology correctly, but I'm just saying as far as your listening experience, it's, I had a better experience listening with the 530 versus the T10, but the T10s are nice. I'm not trying to say they're bad. I've been using these. These have been my everyday rockers since these. Um, but again, the sound is really nice on the T10, but I believe there is a slight edge difference as far as better quality on the B530. Okay. Uh, the case build real quick. I forgot to mention this. This is pretty thin. The top shell versus this is a little bit thicker. So I think the case on the T10 is more durable than the B530. But if you take care of it, you shouldn't have any issues. All right, so another thing is that there is no slave and master with the B530. With the T10, there is a slave and master. The right one is the master and the left one is the slave. So if you wanted to use just one earbud on the T10, you only could do that with the right earbud. You cannot do it with the left earbud. Whereas with the B530, you could do either or. So I do like that. Now, as far as comfort, the B530 earbuds are totally comfortable. They're very light. They sit flush in your ear. Whereas the T10 are okay to wear, but they're not the most comfortable earbuds to wear. They kind of sits in your ear and after a while it can get a little bit irritating, but you get used to it. But it does get a bit irritating after a while and they feel a bit heavy, whereas these feel extremely light. So comfort wise, I would definitely say that the B530 has more of a comfortable experience than the T10. Okay, and now let's talk about battery life. This shouldn't really be a discussion. The B530, you get up to 64 hours and of regular playtime for a full charge of these earbuds, you can get up to eight hours. And then it also states that after one hour, sorry, after 10 minutes of charging, you can get up to an hour of playtime, just 10 minutes. Whereas these, you can get up to, I think three to four hours off of one charge. And then I think you could charge it up to four times. Another thing I wanted to mention is with the B530, you have more control than you do with the T10. The B530, you can control the volume and you also can activate your phone voice assistant. With the T10, you pretty much can answer a call and you can pause play. Not too many controls with the T10, but with the B530, you have much more control. Now regarding the price, the B530 is $59.99 and the T10 is $39.99. Both are on Amazon. Now, which one should you go with? Mm, it really depends on you. It depends on what features you're looking for. But if it were to be me, I would probably lean towards the B530 just because it's a better experience and it has more features. Now, again, the T10 is not a slouch. It has good features. 
And again, I do like the fact that it is rated IPX8 and it has the wireless charging, but the B530 just has more features and it's lighter and it's more comfortable to wear. And the other thing, it has a better battery life. So in my humble opinion, I would probably go with the B530, but it's definitely up to you based on what I mentioned. You let me know in the comment section below which one you would rather go with. And again, with the B530, if you are interested, I will have a link posted in the description. Make sure you use that link as it truly does help me out. Again, this is the Tranya B530 True Wireless Earbuds. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also share and subscribe. I thank you for watching and until next time, keep it mobile.